everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. As you well know by now, or at least you should, really almost nobody does weather apps better than HTC. They've been really, really awesome. This is not the stock HTC weather app. This is one called B-Weather, B-E-Weather. Um, it's popped up recently, and it's really, really good. As you see from this animation, it's really, it's probably pretty graphically intensive, right? But it's very, very pretty. It looks really good. So, give you a quick walkthrough. Uh, you can put in multiple cities. We'll show you how to in a second. Swipe back and forth between them. So, I've got San Francisco, New York and then where I live, Pensacola, all in here. Uh, you get temperature, partly cloudy, uh, when the uh, weather was last observed, what it actually feels like, wind, humidity, dew point, and pressure. Down here at the bottom, we have a little exclamation point because there is a weather advisory. So uh, high risk of rip current, so it's pulling that. It looks like from the National Weather Service, so that is cool. Uh, go to New York and it changes to grass for whatever reason. Look at the, uh, if, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but really nice motion within the grass. Really, really pretty. See what San Francisco has. So back to the partly cloudy. See partly cloudy and clear. So that's the difference there. Whole bunch of settings in this and in, in different features. So if you tap the screen, it'll pull up your forecast. You can switch it from hourly uh, or daily. Or you can take a look at the sun and the moon. Very cool. So tap it to get rid of that. You'll see it also changes this little button up here, and that will bring it up as well. Uh, we've got more options here, so you can open the weather in the browser, maps and media, nearby weather stations, share weather, rename location, or delete the location. If you open it up in the browser, it takes you to Weather Underground, which is one of my favorite weather sites. Actually, they do an excellent job. We'll go back to the app. Uh, hit the menu button and you get a whole bunch of options so you can add a location. Adding a location is easy. You just search or you can add your current location and it will pull your current location from wherever you are. Uh, maps and media. So you can add a custom map or media or choose whatever they have. Built-in radar, uh, you know, different ranges. Uh, Built-in, you know, W dynamic. So we, weather nerds will understand this. A lot of really good options. Nearby weather stations. So you know, people have local weather stations. A lot of schools, uh, hospitals, stuff like that. And you can tie into that. And that's actually a really nice feature of Weather Underground. You can manage your locations, so you can move them up and down. And settings of the app itself. A whole bunch. You can change the units. They're measuring everything in. Wind units, auto update, icon set appearance, temperature notification, weather advisories, radar maps, and that's the version we have right now. Now, something else you get to do are widgets. So they have a whole bunch of widgets. Uh, we'll start with this one. So there is a 4x3, really, really big, and you have different options. You can do it with the uh, forecast and the clock, or the you know the clock in the, uh, I think it is the clock in the five day. Let's actually just see. Come on. You gonna come up? There we go. All right, so you have a whole bunch of different sizes to choose from. And widget type, so if you do a four by three, and I think there's another size that lets you uh, choose which widget style. So you can do current with four day forecast or current conditions with clock, which is what we have on there now. No more room, obviously, because I have a big one. So there's four by three, there's four by one, so you can have a nice little tiny one. It's a nice uh, four by two, nice two by two two by one, so a lot of really nice widget options. Tap it and it takes you back into the app. Really, really nice weather app. It's uh, $3 in the Android market right now. Uh, I've seen them discounted for a day uh, to a buck, but if you really love weather apps, really can't go wrong with B-Weather. So there you go, quick look, see you later.